I'm Bobby Broyles with the second edition of our Going Deep series in which we sit down with a CAA football student athlete for an in-depth look into his life both on and off the field. This week we go deep with William & Mary wide receiver Trey McBride who joins us now from Williamsburg. Trey, thank you for joining us. How is everything at the college? It's good. Uh, kind of cold, not really used to the weather, but other than that it's good. Trey, you earned your first career start in the Tribe season opener at Maryland. How excited were you to get that start? Uh, it felt good. I mean, I wasn't nervous uh, because uh, the year before I had played in a big game against UVA, so it wasn't really nerve-wracking or anything. I was just ready to get out there and play. Uh, I don't really like to go into the game any other way besides excited because then you start worrying too much and you won't play to your full potential. It all began with Maryland, but you really emerged as a Tribe star player in what was truly a breakout sophomore season for you. Did you see yourself as ha having this kind of a season in 2012? Um, honestly, I, I did because at the end of my freshman year, our coach made us write down some goals. And, and my, my goals were 50 catches for 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. And the only goal that I didn't get was the 1,000-yard goal. So. I was like short 100 yards, so um, I wasn't surprised by the season. I, I feel like I'm prepared, and um, I just want to go out there and, and keep stuff like that going on. How much confidence does this kind of season now give you moving forward? Uh, the confidence, the confidence is high. I mean, even though we didn't have the season that we we all wanted, uh, it's just more of a more of an inspiration to to really knock off the people who don't believe in us and uh, really become the tribe team that we that we all know is, is great. We're all working hard in the offseason, haven't taken any days off. We're all trying to get it and it's good and we're all coming together as a team and I see a bright future ahead. The team will undoubtedly look to you as being a leader now. Is this a role you embrace? Yes, I, I do embrace this role. Um, I've never really been a vocal leader but it, it, it's gonna be, I feel like it'll be easy enough for me to at least lead by example. And while I'm doing that, I can work on my vocals and try to be a more vocal leader, you know, prep up guys, get them going. And uh, I, I, open, um, I welcome that role with, with open arms. Now that you've had some time to reflect on the season, what becomes your personal focus now in the off season? Um, my post personal focus becomes um, being a leader, uh, stepping into that role more this year than ever uh, and also uh, more physically just becoming faster. I feel like I put on enough weight to where I'm, uh, I'm not worried about putting on so much weight but now I'm just working on my speed and uh, more, more catching and stuff like that. It's still pretty early but have you set any personal goals for 2013? Uh, yes I have. Um, my goals are um, almost 60 catches uh, 10 touchdowns again and 1,100 yards and, and a winning season for the Tribe. From a team standpoint, I know last season was a tough one for the Tribe, but what kinds of takeaways have you and your teammates learned from the year that will help you prepare for the 2013 season? Um, if anything, I think that, you know, lessons that we've learned from, from last season is uh, to finish. We came in a lot of close games. A lot of games that we should have won, and, and, and at the end of the day, it was because we weren't prepared, or, or I'm sorry, we were prepared, but we weren't finishing as a team. And I think that more than anything, some of the um, attitudes and, and uh, goals from last season that'll carry into this season will be the finishing thing. That's one of the key things that we're focused on in our offseason workout right now. We, we break it down on finish. We really push through all of our reps. We don't slow down at the end, and um, hopefully that'll, that'll bring us up to speed. Let's reverse course and go back to your prep days. Were you highly recruited coming out of high school? I'd say so. I mean, I had, um, I had seven offers. And so, you know, the, the recruiting process is something that, you know, can get tiring after a while. But, you know, it, my phone was always ringing and I, was, I felt like I was pretty highly recruited. I had, uh, you know, Harvard, Furman, Duke, um, both the Army, I mean, uh, Navy and uh, Air Force Academies. And um, so, yeah, I felt like I was pretty highly recruited. Now, Trey, you mentioned Harvard, and it's not every day someone gets into, let alone gets a scholarship offer from Harvard. Can you talk about this a little bit? Uh, yes, uh, Harvard was, you know, they came in early. Uh, they wanted me to come down to a camp and uh, perform for them. They, they were talking about, you know, giving me money to come to the school. And it was all great. I liked it and all that, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to play in the Ivy League just because, you know, I felt like 
I wanted to, I, for one, I didn't want to go that far up north, and two, I wanted to stay around here on the East Coast and and uh, play play in uh, a, a good lead like the CAA. Now let's head into our quick hits final segment of the show. Trey, what are you majoring in at William & Mary? Um, I'm majoring in kinesiology and health sciences. We read that you're an accomplished trumpet player. How long have you played the trumpet? I started playing the trumpet in sixth grade uh, in middle school, and I haven't stopped since then. I still play at the College of Women Mary. I take a one course, I mean a one credit course uh, trumpet lessons, just a one-on-one -on -one class in Yule Hall. And um, it's fun. I, I really like it. I enjoy music. I always have, you know, my headphones on me or music playing somewhere. Trey, we also read that you volunteer with a couple of organizations in Williamsburg. Can you talk a little bit about these experiences? Uh, yeah, they're good. I uh, volunteered with uh, Campus Kitchens here at the College of William Mary, but like Campus Kitchens has an organization inside of itself and it's like Fun at Five, I think it's called. And um, what I did was I went um, on a, like a van and drove to one of the, you know, lower, um, lower social class like uh, neighborhoods down the street and we picked up some of the kids and we brought them back to the school and we played you know games with them we played frisbee football basketball you know we, we played music and danced with them and it, it was fun the kid you can really tell the kids enjoy it and anytime they get a chance to to see us they're really happy so that was fun and um, also this summer we did a uh, a car wash. I did a car wash with the with the church. It was just free car washes. I uh, I was uh, brought onto it by Dante Cook. He brought me on and, and I helped out with that. And it was good raising money and helping people out. I'm, I'm sorry, not not raising money, but um, we took donations. But it was good just giving the free car washes and and really just getting people into the church and stuff. What else do you enjoy doing in your time away from the game? Um, I watch TV whenever I, I'm alone. Like really, I don't really get a lot of chance to sit down. But when I do, I do watch a lot of TV. My favorite, uh, my favorite show is Hey Arnold. It's an, a 90s cartoon, and I watch it on Netflix all the time. And so, you know, that's what I do in my spare time. And, and um, other than that, I'm just either sleeping or getting ready to go do some football or something. Hey Arnold was actually one of my favorite Nickelodeon shows growing up as well. So, Trey, thanks again for joining us here for our Going Deep series. Best of luck in the offseason, stay healthy, and we look forward to talking with you again in the future. No problem, sir. I am Trey McBride, and every day is Saturday when you remember the tribe.